Hey guys, it's NPC Cora back at it again with another video, and today we're playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. It's been a while since I played this one, mainly because it decided to crash on me every time I tried opening it, but I fixed it, so we're gonna get right back into it. I think last episode we had um, Chihiro's trial. I'm not gonna reveal what happened on that trial, but um, if you missed that episode, I'll link the playlist to all the episodes I've done so far in the description. I think this is like the ninth or 10th episode of this game. Um, so you might want to go watch those before you watch this one, and if you're ready, let's just get into it. Aw. Oh. I know I shouldn't cry, but... I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's... impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... Oh damn, I don't even think I can show that on YouTube. <laughs> donuts. I need to eat some donuts, that'll cheer me up. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream-filled donuts, cream-filled donut holes, malasadas. Okay. Oh god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule, but right now for me donuts are absolutely necessary. Oh, what the fuck was that? Huh? What's that sound? Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. Oh. Ah, it hurts my ears. Good. I'm super scared, but... Is this... Is someone there? Yes. <coughs> oh. What the fuck? Okay. That was interesting. That's, that was weird. Next Generation Legend, Stan Hall. Stand tall, galactic hero. The morning after the conclusion of the second trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall just like always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Toko and Byakuya still refuse to show up. Um... I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. <clears throat> she said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. That's just rather unusual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what's what makes me worry. So then. So it's just the seven of us then. Looks that way. How about that? It's times like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. <laughs> no. Ishimaru. Oh, bro. I feel so bad for him. Impossible. Or not. Bro. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look on his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. Must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished and nothing he could do about it. Can't even imagine what must what it must have done to him. Well. So I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out. We have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> now I'm all it's depressed just like... thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. This is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well. Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen, seen to. Why are you so dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon angel pretty pudgy princess? Huh? What? Here we go! Meggy, the jewel shop owner, the bunny eared Amazon, cat girl, dog boy, Robo Justice, and the Galactic King. And. What I mean is, there's no TV 2D here. There's nothing to be done. The mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since Taka's like catatonic, <sighs> as the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're all gonna work together to spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching. I'm right, well, I mean, right? since the class trial is over and all, Perhaps. there should be new places for us to investigate. Investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. Once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do we have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> there may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life. I live here. Um... Uh, no, the point is to look for clues. Just as we started to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. Me, so I oh fuck, hi. 
genocide. Ha! Ah, nobody called for you. Uh, um, what the? How come it's genocide, Jill, and not Toko? Yes! God, this place is just amazing. Finally, a place I can just be my murderous self. Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I'm gonna destroy that stereotype. You SOB. <laughs> SOB. I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um. So you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> Ugh, if she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least one, at least ten percent. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our, our much-needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Well, we get to find new places now. Maybe these stairs have unlocked here? They have. Or was this unlocked before? Oh, never mind. The third floor of Post Peak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? What is this? Rec room? Let's, let's go in the rec room. Oh yeah, something is definitely gonna happen here. Hmm, so this is... Let's see. A recreation room. A place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, nor normal school would. It has Othello, Shogi, and even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our bed boredom at bay. Listen up! Oh jeez. Ring ring ring! Hello there, allow me to expound. Uh, expound. We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then... And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad! Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Watch out! Oops. Nothing, never mind. No, no, no. Anyway, that's it for my expound... Expoundation. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. What you just said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be that much nicer if you could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? Is that Kyoko? So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Oh, this is cool! At first glance, this looks like any normal art room. But something about it seems off. Or multiple things. Like, I don't know, the Monokuma statue? Mm. Well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches the artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they're also, they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Hifumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know what that's- I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Charanbo, pumpkin head, and I especially admire anything that sub, sub, Saburu Von Pond, from Pongi makes. I- sorry if I butchered that name. Charanbo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in the in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkin Head is like a little sculpture fairy representing this century's greatest quality. Saburo, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musume series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. One of your elite is missing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat right, right, rightly belongs to me. Oh, <laughs> it begins today. Begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see, well, good luck with that. I guess there's a back door here. Check that out. What's that? This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. What the fuck is that? There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. As I stretched my hand out to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Yo! Huh? What I saw in that picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo, but they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head one after another. Why is why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they use? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture of the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. 
which must mean whatever this picture was taken. It wasn't here at Hostpeak. But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... That's mine, give it back! Monica would appear out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had at questions evaporated. That answer, sorry. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on in that picture, do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. What? Why can't you give me a straight answer? What was that? Never mind. I don't know. I don't even know why I bothered asking. What? How did? How is there a picture of them here, or any like any picture of them existing like that at all? Oh, that's the the next set of stairs for the next trial. Physics. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Yo, Ishimaru, what's up? Hey, Taka, don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Man, I feel so bad for him, man. Oh my god. Is this my exit, or is this another door? This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Uh, this place is just so relaxing, so calming. It's there. The smell of... Formaldehyde is almost unbearable. Serious, it's so please? tempting. Uh -huh. I want to dunk, just dunk myself right in. Oh, really? Of course, genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. I guess, is that all we, we have to explore right here? Oh, wait, what's that? What's this? Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime-style design on it. It's kind of beat up. Looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. I should show the others later. I got an anime camera. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Oh. What? What, you wanna do some quantum leaping? What the fuck? Huh? That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist. Phys physicists, although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? So it can go back in time? Okay, then let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! Oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. One minute! You sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's not just a thing as time machines. What? Hey. Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you can even live on Mars. But what, with the discombob discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it, you break it into your butt. Uh, interesting. This thing is just a air purifier? More than that. Yo, Ishimaru! Go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. I got a coin from that?! What? I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was actually a clue. Getting just- I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk with it- to- about it to everyone. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Slash TP! The magic of video games! When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was- <gasps> Yo! Hey! What's up? Hina. I tried talking to her, but- my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Yo. Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Hmm. Wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well... My stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so you know. <laughs> I guess my, my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Hmm. Said that goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Hmm. This Asahina hmm. is pretty much the same, hmm. it looks like. Just a second. Hey, you of all people should have any room to talk. Well. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you huh? Uh <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? <laughs> oh my god. Stay away from her, fiend. Uh. Um... Anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Yo, Taka. Hmm. Right. A 
left. Hey, who can I talk to? I can talk to everybody. Let's talk to Hiro. Uh, I just remembered I saw Byakuya a little while ago. What? Where? Where was he? You're, you're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Um, he's in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. Oh, okay, she's gone. <laughs> She can- she can have her psychotic huh? boyfriend. She just ran off. Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Uh, I guess not. Um, okay, so let's talk to Taka. It's no use. Aw, oh, man, I feel so bad for him. I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? Didn't happen to be donut-related discovery, did it? <laughs> what does that even mean? Never mind, it's about the nurse's office, remember? There's one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there or even vitamin supplements would be f or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over the counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. It is disappointing. Like the end of the world is already here. Not sure it's that disappointing. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a much bigger than anything I've ever seen before. A machine much bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Uh -huh. What's something like that doing here? Mm -hmm. It's this device really that big. Mm -hmm. I really don't get it. Uh -huh. Yeah, Taka. Bro. Sakura. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls in the halls and the rooms were locked off. Yeah. Wish they'd give this a rest already for serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Huh. Just to be sure, I went from one end of the other one end to the other testing each metal plate, none of them budge. So in the We've end. seen escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. I mean, even if you wanted to escape to the third floor, I think you would just fucking die as soon as you jumped out of it. There is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> someone will join- will someone join me in a game with Othello sometime? There was an art room on the third floor and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. A digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. Looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well... Top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. Rude, she's not strange. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Prince... Pr pretty... Prince... Pr Demon Angel... De Demon Angel Pretty Princess... Pretty Pudgy Princess. <laughs> Oh, you recognize the Sifumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at an, a big anime convention. Do you have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah. Wait, that's my camera. What? Damnation. Where'd you find it? It's in the physics lab. It's my most prized possession. I bought it here. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Ah, uh, but look at it. What? It's got all messed up. What looks like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a secondhand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not a mink. It's not mink condition. I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. Can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. Now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? Found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean like dirty? <laughs> no, not that kind of thing. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three? And the three of them were laughing. Oh. Um... It showed the three of them together laughing. When could, have it, when could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I do, don't really recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Well. You probably just imagine it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it. I'm telling you. Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all. We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. 
either murdered or executed, and they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's... Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died, there's no way any of them are still... So we have to figure out what this, that, what that picture was taken, what, when that picture was taken. Monokuma most likely forged it, I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. More importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there's something that have been that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Oh yeah, what is it? There's also something that has been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. <laughs> What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, it's about Hina. Um, what about Hina? Huh? What me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? <sighs> It varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tell, something that you can't hide no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose just gets just a little bit longer. Huh? What for real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's no fair. <laughs> if you are going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Be honest. Were you lying about your stomachache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. Are you I'm feeling sure guilty about it. something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> what, what, the truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Hmm? A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... So it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up getting just... I just kept thinking about everything that happened up till now. I ended up just getting more more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Huh? Donuts Honestly. again. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know. Sorry. I feel really bad about Hina. that. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the, the warehouse. But when, then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was half open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? Oh my god. Oh. No way! A ghost? Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it, is, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well then. Then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it's a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? What? I'm gonna go try and see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing I suppose to be done. I have no choice. Mm. What about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh, I guess that's right. a yes. Man, alright, let's see what this ghost is. It was um, right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. Uh, what? La 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 Cthulhu Fatangan? What? Please. Shut up, what if he actually shows up? <laughs> you know, where was it that you saw Chihiro's ghost? No. Well, I heard a sound when I opened the locker. I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. What locker? Um, is this the locker? There's something in here. Inside the locker is a laptop? What's something like that doing okay. here? I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right, I saw it in the library before. Oh, right! Looks like a laptop. The laptop seems pretty old, it's all covered in dust. So. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. How did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, you know, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. 
I'm surprised you're able to dress yourself in the morning. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh man, if I had the love, loves, loves, the loves clueless girls attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come it's on. okay, I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Mm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a green alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean! So I'm just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? <laughs> Listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it there. But... But if that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed there's one big difference between this room and all the others? There's a difference? There's no surveillance cameras. Yes, it's Precisely. Me. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. So you're saying someone hmm. put the laptop here so the mastermind hmm. wouldn't know about it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Well, let's do it then. It's just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then... First of all, we have to wake it up. Right. Started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. And the display instantly began to glow a pale green. There were a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego. Mm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over, over the alter ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark, and then a voice spoke to us. Really Master, you're here. What? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Shihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh, it's a ghost, no! voodoo, and sweet baby Jesus save me. <laughs> Calm down. It's not a ghost. What? Huh? Um... Then what is it? Anyway... I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko began typing, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Shihiro Fujisaki. Oh, I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That voice, the tone and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. That's how Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in the computer by repeating different tasks it gains. Any what? The AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Shakira used a support vector machine and reinforced learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine reinforcement learning. It's true. But it's simply it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more? Just Google it, okay? In other words. But if this AI continues to grow, it'll become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. That is why it is called Alter Ego. A fine choice, then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your Alter I Ego. See. A second, perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Shihiro created. That's Alter Ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. Is that what this means? Yes. Then he brought this, the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> hmm, but you know, all this about master and whatnot. Yes, yes. I believe I'm on fire. Huh? I thought you were only into 2D. Da -da -da -da! This is the most excellent 2D possible. Huh? But he's a guy, also a computer program. I feel as if... Oh, that aspect is no problem. What the I mean... fuck? That aspect? What? Are you okay? Anyway. Let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away rhythm rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Well. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this with that warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's why. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive numbers of files stored on this laptop. Um. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is su surprisingly strong. It's taking me a little longer than I thought. Master. So here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. Ayo. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. 
How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. It's gonna be a while. Leave it to but me. I'm definitely gonna do it so you can just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry, I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, and if anyone suspicious shows up, <laughs> I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. But it's fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay have you with forgotten? This? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but he won't. Well, we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about... Once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room. However, there's a good chance the the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then, once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But, but if you leave your door open all night, then it's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself. I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without a fight. I assure you. Damn. Yeah, she's yeah. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. My confidence just sounds like similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yeah, not at all. Bitch, yeah, it had a different, but it had an entirely different feel for sure. Like someone who'd been dropped into a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. I feel like that was all fun. I feel like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts but by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um... Would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um, I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do, but she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, and direct. Shihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive the situation were very low, so I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> I somehow it's feel like... kind of sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel losing your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too here long, if we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Hmm. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we can call for help from the outside. Hmm. This is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? But if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access... <laughs> that's way too dangerous. The mastermind would find out in no time. Uh, um... Oh yeah, true. Indeed. It's no time for taking needless risks for now. I'll, for now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? Should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye, we'll be back, I promise. Oh. Come on, Ifumi, let's go. Hi. Okay. We all left the dressing room. That's interesting, holy shit. As soon as we were out of the hall, Hina let out a joyful show. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? As if he'd been waiting for his cue. <laughs> Dun 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 dun! He now has gained enough experience to level up. What's the matter? So what was this awesome something? Monokuma! What the heck? You guys seem all in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. <laughs> oh, keeping secrets? No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. <laughs> denied! Denied! Super denied! What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say what? Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Huh? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? Yes. Ew, gross! You said do it! Just do it. What? You said first! <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We had not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock versus to divide which, groups of, which group would go first. Hina won the match for us, so that is why we were all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... <laughs> okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on! Jeez, what are you gonna do? What? Gee, ah, oh, jeez, what are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with a ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Um... That counts Sakura, right? Sakura, Aoi, uh, Celeste. Toko isn't even with us, so who's, who, who are Kyoko, right? Okay. 
Um, Damnation! Nuts and damn, nuts and damn. We totally lost another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Uh, um... Yeah, but tomorrow for sure we'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey! Hold on. Hey! Something hey! strange here. Very strange. Strange. What do you mean? <gasps> What's strange is this is a perfect chance for you to sneak a peek, huh? <laughs> That's. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I thought you were all about 2D. All, you need is, all of you need to shut up and sit down and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting for, of a man's fa fantasy. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said or just go quietly back to the dining hall? No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's head back to the dining hall. <laughs> what? What What about your man's fantasy? Not sure a real man's fantasy should be spying on girls and stuff. It should be more about your hopes and your dreams or adventure or whatever. But anyway, I'm not gonna spy on them. This is kind I see, I can't even describe my bitter disappointment. That primo fan service could have been yours. Um, interesting. We headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuma standing there all alone. But to be honest, even I was a little reluctant to turn down the offer. Makoto, you dirty bastard. Fantasy, <laughs> fantasy. Like... My fantasy. Ugh. So I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? Mm -hmm. The only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating figurines. A real live, live woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay, maybe. No way! If the girls heard you say that, we'd all be dead meat for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Aw oh, man, what a nice bath! This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after this time was a, a true pleasure. Indeed. Of course. Only after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... Yeah. Sorry, no time for that. So in the That's end. what I figured. Huh? Actually, we were just saying in the bath about how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for too long. Mm. You're all so terrible to me, I wonder why. My entire existence! Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for you all. Presents? Well, now, hmm? well, now, oh, well, have now. I got your attention? Hoo hoo, then let's head to the gym where your present awaits. No questions, no dilly dally, get a move on, everything will become clear. Oh. What is um, it? What are you scheming this time? It would seem... He's probably going to repeat the same thing again, providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me neither, I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay, we have Ultra Ego, I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. Correct. So for now, we have to just endure it, come what may. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym, but when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Yakuya, did you get here early? <laughs> Yakuya gives off the kind of, like, white boy school shooter vibe. Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple, right foot, left foot, right foot. Fuck you, Yakuya. <laughs> the same as always, I see her on the other hand. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie... T Debbie down herself, huh? I heard what sounded like a sneeze and she was back to her old self. <laughs> so now she's gone from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes. Sounds some well seems kinda late to add that into the mix. Why does this, why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. <laughs> what the heck? Bro. So when you wanna say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means Oh jeez. Oh wow, it's motive time. Looks like everyone's here, so then let's get started. What? Come on out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However. Whatever you subject to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. Come on! You don't even have to get so defensive. Calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. Sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. Without further ado, I give you this! What? Ten million dollars! Um, ten million dollars. I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you wow. think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wow -y. wow wow, am I right? Monokuma sounds like the kind of like, like, 
drug addict mom, but not like the bad kind that's like neglecting and abusing their kids, but the kind that's like really cringy and always interferes with their kid's life and like, I don't know, just, well, I don't know, the voice that reminds me of that kind of mom. That's the motor if you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is, <laughs> it's not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money is, cer money is certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whenever, whatever, wh whether it is, uh, what? Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Hmm. But there's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. He's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. Uh, um, you can say ten million or however much. I don't give a crap. For serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's ten million or any other amount of money. No. Not even just money, but from now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most important thing is wait. to live a pure and moral communal life. <laughs> Monokuma disappeared, leaving his world on stage along with the massive sum of money. Um... There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? Hmm. Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge, it, judge others by your own standard. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Uh, I'm Kifumi, you. what about you? you know I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough money to buy my comics and DVDs. <laughs> then, hey, just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. <laughs> ha! Ha ha ha! Fuck you! <laughs> don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. This is the nature of this game. Ding dong, bing bong. It's that time already, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I will be leaving my door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because... Or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice is calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, let's get- let's everyone just head back to our- How about that? Don't think about the whole money thing, got it? Good, then let's break. Hmm. How's that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Bro! Hmm. Right. <laughs> oh my god, Taka! As soon as we headed back to, I headed back to my room. I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way it's gonna get any. There's no way that's gonna get anyone to kill anyone else. Told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing about last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time, this time it's different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind after Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. Well then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Okay, well, that was interesting. So the new motive is ten million dollars. Um... I mean, I was- I would say that no one's gonna really kill anyone over that, but like... I- I- I highly doubt that, because I'm pretty sure there are five trials. So like... Whatever, we'll see who- who does who win next episode. Uh, that's all the time I have for this episode. If you liked it, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!